Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Tenorshare and their Rei Boot software, which is now 70% discount for iPhone users to celebrate the upcoming iPhone 12 and iOS 14 release. You can find links in the description. Rei Boot can help you fix so many iOS issues such as stuck on a boot loop, Apple logo, or any other issue. Rei Boot can help you fix it. Again, 70% off for iPhone users. Links will be in the description and down below. Hey, what is up guys? I know I help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at iOS 14.2. Developer Beta 1, Apple released this software about three to four days as of the filming of this video. And as I always like to do, I like to come back and share with you guys additional details and changes within the software that I may come across after using it for several days. First thing I want to talk about is the new Jazam extension for Control Center, which is now available for you to add directly through settings and Control Center uh, panel. And this one allows you to have music recognition directly within Control Center using Shazam, you get a notification, you can tap it, it'll expand, and it tells you you can listen uh, to the song that you just heard in Apple Music, it'll redirect you, it's a really cool feature on iOS 14.2. However, what we did not talk about was the new UI for the Control Center media player. So if we invoke the Control Center here, and we uh, long press on the player, we get all the recent tracks which are available, and at the bottom, we have the controls and other speakers and TVs, which if we tap, we see all of those that are available for us if we have other devices connected. Now, one thing in particular that I do want to mention is that platter does change depending on what you're doing. So if you're actually listening to music on your device, I'm going to put the volume down. If you're listening to music and you bring up the platter, you get the entire album artwork instead of recommendations. So it's really cool. And as you flip through them, the album, of course, will change. Now you also have your controls down here. You can see that the controls are available for you right then and there. And you also have your AirPlay controls directly on the bottom, just like before, but the UI is slightly tweaked as well. Now, if we head on over to music and we go to AirPlay or AirShare, right here we have the new UI as well available within the Apple Music application. So really uh, cool enhancements uh, to the UI with iOS 14.2. I really like what Apple is doing with this software. Now there's also improvements to headphone and hearing uh, audio experience on your iPhone. So if we head on over to sounds and haptic, we have a new option here that talks about headphone safety. And this is more for your hearing, right? So you don't go deaf eventually by listening to music too loud. The first option is headphone notifications. If you exceed the maximum uh, recommended level of uh, hearing or volume on your headphones within seven days straight, which is the recommended, the iPhone will automatically uh, recommend uh, the audio settings to be adjusted. And uh, you can have this on or off if you wish to do that. But yeah, it's really important a new feature because it's all about the hearing and hearing of course is part of health. And Apple just gives you additional information here with this uh, pop-up screen that you see there. And then you have reduce sound. Now reduce loud sounds that is. This is uh, for when you, you may be playing a song that at some point goes up quickly and then comes back down. This will modify the audio waves to sort of keep everything subtle and uh, steady without uh, popping your eardrums when that song does go all the way up uh, by accident. There's a lot of Linkin Park music that I listen to, which this will come in handy if I'm wearing the AirPods Pro. However, there's other features and changes within the software as well, such as improvements to hand wash with Apple Watch. I'm using this a lot. I find me using this a lot as well. There's also improvements to the magnifier. So the magnifier uh, setting, you can invoke by triple pressing on the side button. Uh, if you do that, you see right here, now we have a new option that helps you detect distance between other people. So yeah, a new feature within the magnifier, but you do have to enable it, of course. This is an accessibility feature. You can find it under accessibilities. And right here it is, magnifier, once you enable it, you can triple press the side button. And uh, now this feature has that distance detection, if you will, with the new uh, magnifier feature for iOS 14. And Apple continues to add upon iOS 14.2. And then there's slightly tweaking of the watch application as you see here. So Apple also uh, slightly tweaking the home screen icon for the watch application in iOS 14.2. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.